Bonjour et bonsoir. This is the fabulous Todd, cheesemonger expert, fabuleux at the Oakville Grocery. The Oakville Grocery. We have a great new cheese for the last bite of summer for to taste with a great, uh, in, uh, an interesting thing that we're doing with a, a wine in a can. Today we're going to feature a cheese called Montenegro. And if you are a pal or a friend or a, an aficionado of uh, Humboldt Fog, you're gonna really like this cheese. It's the Spanish version of Humboldt Fog and it's kind wow. of inverted, yeah. It's hey, look at the skin. It looks like a mushroom, it even does, on top, it does like a morille. It does, right, it does look like that. And it's finished with ash. Ooh. So that's what gives it its dark color. And whereas Humboldt Fog, the California version, has an ash in the center. The cheese is uh, a little bit of blue. It's got a touch of penicillin. And so it's got a little twang that way. And as you see up here, the clothes, the pate is beautifully white and the bite is fantastic. And I have, I have worked, this comes from a cheese uh, from the Catalonia region. And originally it was a father and daughter team named Rafael and Paloma Baez that made this cheese. Uh -huh. It was interesting because years ago it was pretty inconsistent. I mean, some of them were slightly larger and smaller and odder shaped than the others. But over the years, they've kind of been in business with Matika a little bit, who provides for us some fabulous hams. Uh, and the consistency and the beauty of this cheese is second to none, really. Well, let's pair it with something fabulous, dear mm. friends, mm. that we've been doing with Oville Grocery under the brand OGC. We are a California wine white, so we're gonna do it two ways. I'm gonna serve it to Todd to get his impression, and I'm gonna drink mm. it out of the can because <laughs> this is the coolest thing. It is, it's having a can. Hey, why not? Idea. It's, it's like... cold, it's fresh, it's crisp. Summer is never fully over. Mm. Salute. Santé, amour, y dinero, y todo. Y dinero. Mm. Mm, it's great. It's really great, actually. It's well balanced. It's got good minerality. It's got good fruit. It's got very good minerality. Actually, it's gonna yeah. like this cheese a lot. Well, let's let's try. Well, I have been. By the way, I've been working here long enough to know that if I'm gonna serve a Spanish cheese, what do I have to serve with it? Is a little. Pata negra. Exactly. The acorn fed black hog. We're gonna have it all year long. We're thinking about, white, I'm gonna mention this now, we're thinking about having some white truffles. If any of you all are interested in some white truffles, give us a call and you can move that needle to get us to bring some in. We'd like to do that. So today what we're gonna do is the Montenegro is finished atop a piece of the Pata Negra, in this case it's Belota, and then um, a little Spanish almond, flaxseed cracker, so it's a Spanish theme. It's a Spanish bite. We got to taste. So just to let you know, dear friends, this is my favorite ham. So if you ever invite me at your house, jamón ibérico, pata negra, belota, belota is the best. It looks gorgeous in its color. Look at this. It sweats excitement. It brings Excess on the nose, and as you let it melt on your mouth, it's like a Spanish kiss. It is like a Spanish kiss. The hogs are gigantic, they're a little ill-tempered, and they live on the side of an acorn stand. It's a beautiful thing. If you ever get a chance, look that up. So I got to have a bite of this? Can oh. I have one of these guys? For sure, but I want to have it pure, like in Spain, jamón iberico with white wine, you know, with high acidity, crispiness, minerality. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm going to indulge and try this amazing preparation. You see, appetizers at your house. And this mm. is a nice gluten-free cracker. I, I would say that. that's a tapas, for mm. sure. Gluten-free. That bite works very well for me, personally. But mm. I'm a Francophile. Mm. Great. Tell us how you feel. I feel like... I feel it reminds me of the beach in Benidorm. Mm. When you're sitting out, you're, you're post disco, it's 10 in the morning, the top of sparse just opened up. You're wandering like a crazy tourist. You haven't slept all night, of course. Of course not. You're, wearing, you're still wearing your duds. And the guy knows, the guy knows, and he knows what to do. And he cuts you some of this and hands it to you and gives you, frankly, a beer. It's hot there still. And mm, this that's is how heaven. I feel. Benidorm. Hey, this is heaven on earth. And congratulations, Todd. Oakville Grocery today has the most magnificent assortment. You lead all the choices of charcuterie and amazing, incredible discoveries. And dear friends, as we cannot travel 
as easily as we do. Let's travel on the cheese tray. Let's travel on the platter. Let's travel in our backyard. Let's travel in the dining room, in the kitchen. So this is the best way to discover the world. Food is the best way to travel. I, I think that's, what, that's the fun thing about getting on the plane and actually going someplace else. It's the smells and the, uh, the terroir, of course, but I want to eat whatever it is, you know? So you are what you eat. Tell yeah. me what you eat. You are what you eat. So here as well, we have the brother, the sister, the French rosé made in the south of France called the Mistress. And here we have the gardener because remember OGC, the Oakville grocery is the village of Oakville. So come and visit your friends. See you soon. And it's never the end of the summer. <laughs>